with Livingston and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features and all creatures. Good evening, friends, and welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me on this side is the industrious Mr. Livingston. And over yonder would be the captivating Miss Tangella. And do we have an immensely fabulous program in store for you this very night? As a show entitled Creature Features, we often find ourselves lambasted for not presenting enough features with creatures. But if we were to feature more features that had an abundance of creatures, then all of our features would be comprised of creatures and would leave no room for features without creatures like disaster films and thrillers and even ghost stories, for which we do have a fantastic one of those for you tonight. More on that soon. You've done the Creature Features featuring Creatures rant once before. I'm well aware of this, Mr. Livingston, but I have altered it appropriately for tonight's film. Hmm. Tangella would like us to cease our bickering and get on with introducing our guest. I shall comply. Tonight we shall be joined by Bonnie Cromwell from Classroom Safari. She'll bring some of her furry friends, maybe a scaled companion, and perhaps possibly even a feathered colleague. Those of you who recall her last visit will remember that Tangella did her best impersonation of a silent Bindi Irwin as she learned about each animal Bonnie presented. Don't forget to mention the film. I was just about to venture in that particular direction, Mr. Livingston. And our film tonight will be The House That Wouldn't Die from 1970, starring Barbara Stanwyck and Richard Egan. This is a fabulous film that has everything. Everything? Everything! Ghosts, demonic possession, dishonest estate agents, mediums, seances, spooky addicts, vehicle failure, and veil threats of psychiatric incarceration. It's a wonderful film that children of all ages will enjoy. God help us all. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of delightful animals and ghostly fright, right here on Creature Features! <laughs> Stay tuned. I love snakes. It's a good thing I'm not scared of them, especially this one. He wants to go anywhere but on me. <laughs> Bonnie! Yes? You've covered me in snakes. I have covered you in snakes, and, and you look lovely. This is quite a sensation. I've never had... Hello. Don't bite my face. I need it tonight. You can bite it after. That one I've never had so busy. many snakes on me. <laughs> right, this is wonderful. I don't know why people are so opposed to snakes. And, and what is this giant monster? Oh, this is Sparky the Wonder Frog. Sparky? That, he looks like uh, animatronic. He does, but he doesn't feel like he's animatronic. He feels gooey. Where does he come from? Uh, he's an African burrowing frog. African? And he's about 20 years old. 20 years old? Yeah. My goodness. And this little bloke does not want to be with me. Yeah, he, it's wiggly. This he, is its first time. First time on TV. He wants to be in other places. This is wonderful. I, I need to get a pet snake, but you know, I don't think the snakes would like me very much. Look, oh. this one wants to leave. This one wants to go. 
I think I should give it to Tangella. No, no, she's busy with the frog. All right. So uh, Bonnie Cromwell is our wonderful friend who does classroom safari. Yes, I do. And you do safaris in classrooms and in haunted houses, apparently. Uh, in haunted houses. And she has quite a menagerie to show us this evening, but uh, we need to get to the movie, The House I Would Not Die. Have you seen this? Um, I saw the beginning of it and it, um, it it's, yeah, it's, it looks scary. It's, it's a wonderful film that has uh, Barbara Stanwyck and I'm Losing Snakes. They just will not <laughs> stay with me. But um, Barbara Stanwyck and uh, Rob Roger, Robert Egan, and it's a ghostly film, and we're going to love it. So uh, let's start this. When we come back, we're going to have something else to look at, right? Yeah. All right, off we go to The House That Wouldn't Die, 1970. Don't go away. We'll see you soon. Two creature features. If you're just joining us, you miss the snakes, which is, it's okay to miss snakes sometimes. It's okay. Some people don't like snakes, but uh, we are with the wonderful Bonnie Cromwell from Classroom Safari, and uh, Tangella is babysitting a crocodile? Alligator. Alligator. So, see you later, alligator. No. His name is Anakin Swampwalker. Anakin Swampwalker. He might grow up to be Darth Gator. My goodness. Well, he's, he's he looks like a friendly little bloke. For no, an he's alligator, nice. he's pretty good. Right, right. So the movie so far, they've inherited some Gettysburg-era home. You know, anything that comes from the Civil War is going to have a ghost. Will you it not? You betcha. I yep. mean, that's what they do. They 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 grew ghosts in Gettysburg. That's that's what they did. So um, back to this little guy. What is his age? We don't know. He came in as a rescue and um, he's got kind of a derpy look on his face because he was only fed hot dogs instead of oh, no. the proper food. Well, the derpy look is rather fetching, though. It is, it is kind of cute, but we're hoping that he will, um, his teeth will straighten up. So, braces. You take him to an orthodontist, and they have these tools with wire, right? And he'd look like a teenager for the next two years, right? He always says, what's one more orthodontist, more or less? And the orthodontists say, nah, so too many teeth, 80 what is, of them. What does a, a little guy like this eat? Um, he eats mice. Mice? Yeah, I buy big bags of frozen mice and rats from oh. a place called Mice on Ice. Mice on Ice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we've got quite a few live ones here, so if he wants to patrol... That would be perfect. No, he would he love can, to patrol. He'd make a, a nice cat because she's trained all the felines in this household to hunt dogs. Of nice. all things. Yes. Yeah, dogs. All right. Uh, let's get back to this film. When we come back, we have another surprise coming, right? Yes, we do. All right. Off we go to the house that wouldn't die, and we shall be back after the break. Don't go away. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. You know, there's nothing good in here for you tonight, Miss Tangela. Typically, there's an ad of something she likes. All I see is cigarettes and alcohol. Oh, there's an ad for St. Joseph's baby aspirin. Pure orange flavor. Do a true story. I ate an entire bottle of this when I was young, when I was a wee wee lad. No, it's true. I was a small lad and these were delicious. And I ate the entire bottle. And I told my mom, luckily, or else I'd be dead. And she took me to hospital and That's... they pumped out my stomach. True story. See, I think that's what happened. 
Indeed. No, I had a promising career as a classical musician and I ended up playing rock and roll. Maybe because I ate too much aspirin as a baby. Who knows? That's the danger of having medicine taste like fruit. That's right. No, I completely agree. It should taste like vinegar. It should taste vinegar. awful. Vinegar. What have you for me, Mr. Livingston? I have a package from Kansas City, Missouri, from a Roberta Koenig, which means king in German. Koenig? Koenig. Koenig. Very nice. Well, we have to do this fast because... You know, Bonnie's got an animal at bay. Yes, I until know. Until no. we do this. All right, so this is a gift. So that goes to her. And I shall read the notes. All right. Hello, Vincent Angela and Mr. Livingston. I discovered your show on YouTube a couple of years ago, and I've been watching ever since. Your show reminds me of horror hosts of my youth in Kansas City. I watched The Creeper in the 70s and Crematia Mortum in the 80s. So that's what we should have called our show. Crematia Mortum. That sounds devilish, doesn't it? It does. Recently, I was in a local flea market with my kids and a vendor makes 3D printed animals and mythical creatures. When I saw the octopus... Ooh, nice. Ooh. I knew I would have to send one to Tangela. Please keep up the great work. Best regards, Rob Koenig. You said Koenig. Koenig. But in, in America and in, in Britain, we say Koenig. Why? But it's like Commander Koenig in Space 1999. They mispronounce it. All right. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Well, thank you so much, Bob. And uh, give our regards to the kids. And I'm sure she will enjoy that very, very much. Next it's up, letter Mr. From Livingston. Antlers, Oklahoma. Lillian Goff. That's a real place. Antlers, evidently. Antlers, Oklahoma. It's just like he says, Lillian Goff. We've heard from Lillian before. Sounds I'm familiar. I'm almost positive that Lillian has been kind enough to send us a note. She did not even send us the entire piece of paper. Look at this. She cheated us. She's conserving paper. No, I think she had to bookmark something and she tore a piece off. Or maybe she had to write down a phone number or something. All right. Dear Vincent, my name is Lillian Goff. I live in Antlers, Oklahoma. I like watching creature features. Every time on YouTube, can you put Halloween and Amityville horror on? And Tangela is really funny. And also she should talk more often. And Mr. Livingston should be more nicer to Tangela. Thanks for putting movies on creature features. All right, let's go through this one at a time. Halloween in Emdyville Horror. Someday, not anytime soon. But we're working on this because this is an important thing to you and it's an important thing to us and we should do it, right? We should attempt it. That's right. Uh, let's see. Tangela's really funny and she should talk more often. She speaks too much. No, she's terrible. She does not shut up. Luckily for you, she does. But for us... That's right. No, he has a set of earplugs made just with her name on them. All right, Miss Livingston should be nicer to Tangela. You know, I'll have to side with Livingston on this one. She's, an, she's a beast. Look, she's even dressed like a shark. She's an animal. She's crazy. She should be committed in an asylum. Shark? But she's somewhat sweet, so we keep her anyways. Anyways, uh, thanks for writing, Lillian, and we hope things are wonderful in Antlers. I wonder if she's got her own pair of antlers. That would be interesting like to some know. some kind of chapeau, right? Perhaps. All right, what's next, Mr. Livingston? Tom and Wendy Connolly from Hillsboro, Oregon. That sounds like a lovely place. Indeed. Oh, good Lord. Oh, you made it look heavy again. All right, this is... Uh, oh, my. All right, I shall take the note, and I shall pass catch that to her. And let's see what the letter. Oh my goodness, look at this. 20 American dollars, 20 American dollars. You know what that's going to. That's a bad investment. No, you have the gift. I have no doubt that gift is meant for you. Oh, an interesting photo of some kind of, uh, what do they call these blokes who wore this? Those were the people who went around during the plague. The plague, plague doctor. Plague so that's doctors. a plague doctor, right? So you hold on to that. 
Greetings, Andrew. Vincent, Tangella, Mr. Livingston, and Andrew. We want to thank you for reviving Creature Features. We only recently discovered the show and enjoy it very much. Vincent, you make us feel like welcome guests in your home. As former California beach town residents, we were delighted to find that you come to us from Tega Bay. And I enjoy hearing about Tangella's antics in the village. Uh, antics is a very light way of saying that, sir. We now send our salutations from the wine country of Oregon. We saw this little fellow online and thought, who do we know in need of an adorable plush plague doctor? Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. You're going to see that in the next intro, guaranteed. Uh, why Tangela? Of course, for those of your viewers who are not familiar with plague doctors, they were medieval medics who ministered to victims of the bubonic plague. They wore bird-like masks and filled the beaks with herbs and oils to fend off the disease. We have never seen a movie with these. Maybe you can find one. Lots of love, Wendy and Tom Connolly. P.S. We don't think Andrew is a stupid head. Uh, no, she's disagreeing with you because you always say he's a stupid head. All right, um, there is a wonderful film with a uh, plague doctor, and it was uh, Restoration with, uh, what's the bloke who played Iron Man? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. So look that one up, Restoration, Robert Downey Jr., wonderful film. One of my favorites, actually. All right, is that it? There's one more. One more. It's an email from Ted Lane in Winslow, Arizona. Winslow, Arizona. You know where Winslow is? Arizona. Yeah, it is in Arizona, but um, that is the crater. What's near the crater of the giant asteroid, and it was the end of the movie for uh, what was that movie with? Uh, I don't recall. The UFO and the the bloke, the the alien bloke. It'll come back to me soon. All right, dear creature features, I have just one question: Why do we hardly ever see Livingston on the Friday show? Yours yeah. truly, Ted Lane, Winslow, Arizona. Well. Yeah, you know, that's his day off. And it's also Dot's evening. It is. He does Dot. The but Dot no, Club. I think I think he goes on an alien ship to visit with Baylock and they drink Tronya. And they relish it. I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for writing, sir. That it? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, visit Hello Creature Videos. It's a website that explains how to send a box how to send a letter, how to send an email, how to send 20 American dollars yes. or more to our fund to finance the show, right? Indeed. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful Plague Doctor stuffy, you can send that to Tangelo as well. Anyways, uh, Bonnie will be back soon, but first let's get back to the house that wouldn't die. See you soon. Looks like a penguin. You know, they don't always like us interrupting the program, but this time it's for an important message because if you're watching us on terrestrial TV or on YouTube, eliminate the commercials by watching us on Creature Features TV. It's a new thing. You help the show. You can see all our episodes and some extras as well. And it's quite inexpensive. In fact, it's so inexpensive that Tangelo went to the store and picked up a few items that cost the same as one month of Creature Feature TV, like... Sushi, a platter of, su it's not even real sushi. There's no fish in this. It's cucumber sushi. So for the same price as cucumber sushi, you can have Creature Feature TV. What else? A bag of onions. Now we know which you would prefer. I'm, you, who's going to sit home and eat a bag of onions and not watch Creature Feature TV? Get Creature Feature TV, avoid the onions. And finally, a bottle of Drano Max Gel. Now, this is a wonderful product. However, I think you would watch Creature Feature TV more than you'd be using this to unplug your sinks. I could be wrong. Maybe you have plumbing. Maybe not. In any case, get Creature Feature TV. It's more delicious than Drano. Bonnie Cromwell, yes. classroom safari ringleader. 
Do you think uh, maybe you could give me the phone number for your hedgehog's hairdresser? Because that's the look I, I seek. It's I moose. want hair Lots like this and hair like that. No, <laughs> yeah, and all I got is this fluffy thing. It's a pet. It's petable. <laughs> it's a chia pet. No, just had water and it grows. Welcome back. We are watching The House That Would Not Die with the wonderful Bonnie Cromwell from Classroom Safari. And she has brought for us hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are wonderful. Now, this, uh, oh. this is one's that one's brown. Pocahontas. This one's white. This is marshmallow. Marshmallow. Now, are they separate breeds, types? They're the no, same? No, she's an albino and she um, is the mom of the hefty two ply. No, this one birthed this one. She was much smaller when you were much one smaller would when hope. you were birthed. One would hope. <laughs> no, but she's a she's a little mom. You should name her Little Mama. Little Mama. She's Little Mama. She is. So, I can see Miss Tangella is using gloves because this one's rather pokey. However, yours is being handled with bare hands. What's I'm a trained professional. No, you've been <laughs> handling them so long. You've Develop callus, right? Oh, no. This one is just less pokey than that less one. Less pokey. Oh. So uh, where do you find these? Uh, these are African four-toed hedgehogs. Oh, they are. You can tell they're African four-toed hedgehogs because they come from Africa and they have four toes. That would explain it. That no, I was thinking the same thing. Four toes. Must come from Africa. How wonderful. They like to eat bugs. They do like to eat what kind of bugs? Um, pretty much any of them. How about roly polies? Oh, they'd eat those. They would that eat roly polies. Yeah, that would make some friends of mine very upset, though. No. How about snails? Yes, but with a garlic sauce. Yes. No, that's the way I like <laughs> them as well. However, the funniest thing I've ever seen is a duck who has discovered a snail and he gobbles it up. That's the Have funniest you seen thing you've ever seen. I can tell you. I feel things. terrible for the snail, but the look of joy. And the sounds of joy that come out of a duck when it's found a snail and it's consumed it, it's 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 like a rich person eating caviar. Mm. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, so <laughs> let's get back on this film, which, by the way, premiered Halloween 1970. Do you well, know that? I didn't know that. Isn't that apropos? It certainly is. Right, right. All right, let's get back to the house that would not die and we shall return after the break. Don't go away, we've got bigger animals coming. Hi, I'm Nautia, and I'm calling from Memphis, Tennessee, and it is Saturday night, and I am watching Creatures Beaches. I love your show, and it is my favorite thing to watch on Fridays and Saturdays. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to check out Creatures Beaches on YouTube. Bye now. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Armadillo, armadillo, armadillo. You know, that's a perfect animal for her. It is? No, it's 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 a thing that she would have thousands of if they were native to California. Thank God they're not. <laughs> that's a cute little thing. What what what's what's his or her name? Um his name is uh, Digger Carlos Eduardo um 
Sheldon Armadio. I think you're mad. I am. You name all your animals after famous Spanish inquisitioners? No. Sheldon wasn't a famous no. Spanish all right. ex. Maybe classical guitarist, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's right, it. Right, right, right. Anyways, uh, House That Would Not Die, this film was directed by the same bloke who directed The Night Stalker. Wow. Which we recently showed. And uh, yeah, no, that's fun. Because, you know, it's got the same look and feel, but they're different. He was in The Night Stalker. They just, he ended up on the cutting room floor. You know, or he was just not tall enough There's to that. be in every scene. But, you know, in the credits, that's wonderful. So you were mentioning during the break that there's quite a few varieties of this particular 20 piece. types of armadillos. 20 types. And there was one when mammoths and mastodons were running around doing stuff that was as big as a Volkswagen. You Lifted know, I, on. I was going to say, this looks like a prehistoric beast. He is a prehistoric beast. He's just a holdover. So so can you, can you uh, open him up so we can see what he looks like? Can... With magic? Yeah, no, go ahead. tickle. You just tickle his belly, I believe. And no, lean him forward. He might, he might stick his face out if you lean him forward, or set him in your lap, and hopefully we won't need the baby wipes. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> does he does he go piddle? No. Oh look, there he it's goes. It's much more substantial. <laughs> oh look at this. He's he's uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer had an album called Tarkis. You ever see that? Yes. It's, that's that's on the cover. How cute. These are the only um, armadillos that can completely roll up into a ball, too. All and the rest so of them, pff, nothing. When he rolls into a ball, does he become like a weapon? To like he throws himself at no. potential prey? No, but it makes it very difficult for anybody to eat him. Oh, no, that makes sense. Well, of course, he's got a suit of armor as well. So yeah. he's somewhat probably bulletproof, too, right? No. No, all no. Right. It's just little bony plates who would, covered who with would fingernail. Who shoot a armadillo? Some jerk. That would be wrong. All right, let's get back to this film, and when we come back, we've got the big surprise, the right? The big surprise. Big surprise. All right, off we go to the house that wouldn't die. Don't go away. It's worth it if you stay. Promise. See you soon. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. To creature features, we are joined by Tai Two. Yes. Tai Two. So was there a Tai One? Uh, no, but there he's Tai Two too. Oh, he's Tai Two as well. <laughs> yes. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Look, meow, meow. Look, look, look. I have food for you. Yum. He is such a sweet boy. He is a serval, correct? Yes. And servals come from Africa, I take it. Yes. He came from Santa Rosa. No, he did not come from Santa Rosa. Well, maybe you brought him from Santa Rosa, but he came from. <laughs> Sub-Saharan Africa, right? Yes, he did. Right. Now, how wonderful. So he's such a good boy. He is a very good boy. Does he Excuse does he <laughs> catch mice in your house? Excuse me. Oh, look at him. Um, no, but he would catch mice in your in yours. Excuse me. He's not gonna get this unless <laughs> I feed him to him. Well, Excuse a good boy. me. Anyways, uh, we, in case you missed it, we're watching The House That Wouldn't Die with a wonderful Bonnie Cromwell and her wonderful kitty cat. Name Taitu. 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 Look at right there. Come on, Taitu. Boom. What a good boy. How about up here? Come up here. Come here. Come here. Yoo-hoo. I have kitty treats for you. Kitty treats. Kitty treats. Come here. Oop. Ow. 
<laughs> He's got sharp teeth. You don't need all those No, fingers. I don't. I don't. Now he's a good boy. So how long have you had this little chap? Come on. Up. Uh, nine years. Come on. Come on. Nine years. Set it on nine your Nine years. So he's how old? He's nine. He's nine. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a good boy. He's, oh, you want more? You want more? <laughs> all right. Let me give you more. I'll give you more. Here you go. There you go, mate. Oh, what a good boy. He is Such a good a boy. Such a good boy. Yes. Did you need so, backup? Backup? Oh, yes. Give me more. <laughs> Give me more. Let's do some more for the kitty cat. So, uh, welcome to Vincent Van Dole's Wild Kingdom as we feed servals. He's so friendly, you know. I, I've, I've encountered these cats before, and typically their standard default position is hiss and growl. And slap. And slap, and he's done none of the above. He's done none of the above. He's just been a nice boy. Do you want to see? Nothing in the hand. No gloves. You Ooh. cannot consume my gloves. What a good boy. So what's he like? Scratch behind the ears? Um, pretty much anything. He's uh, he is your unstandard serval cat. Right. Now he's he's quite unique and his fur is so soft. If you could feel this fur, you know, we need to come up with some kind of feel vision. Oh yeah. And, you know, she's been bothering me to get one of these for her. You need to have a special license to own a cat like this, right? Oh, absolutely. Right. State and federal. State and federal. Yeah. So that means no. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, no. You cannot get a cat like this, but we can get you, like, the plushy version of this cat. Oh, yeah, right? that would be good. Same size, and but it does not walk, nor eat, nor hiss. All right, what do you say we wrap up this film? And when we come back, uh, we're going to learn more about how we can hire Bonnie Cromwell to come to your school or to your facility, to, to your event. Birthday and, parties are and fun. Birthday parties yeah. with this wonderful kitty. All right. To the end of The House I Wouldn't Die, we shall see you soon. I love you as well. Bye. And so ends the house that wouldn't die. The truth is revealed. There was possession and, and ghostly things going on. So what in God's name is on my lap? That's your new kitty. I love this kitty. <laughs> what is this Darlene's name? Her name is um, Spunky Brewster. Spunky Brewster. Now, I, I believe there are trademark issues with NBC Universal on that title. No, only but, if it was Punky Brewster. No, you know, she, she likes these little almond things. She's been eating them from my hand. She almost ate your hand. No, you know, <laughs> she's a sweet little thing. She is. She's a Virginia opossum. Do you want to? Oh, look at that tail. It's so cute. So, um, how do people learn more about Bonnie Cromwell and Classroom Safari? Well, they can go to my website. Which is? Uh, classroomsafari.com. Classroomsafari.com. And they can see wonderful Punky Brewster eating almonds. As and, well as... And your hand. No. Your other beasts. <laughs> yes, we have, we have about 160 creatures. Most of them are snakes. But the stars of the show all have fur. Right. No, no, no. The furry beasts are some of the best featured creatures we'd have on the show so i think it's nice yeah can i move her over to here that way we can let tangela spend some time with this adorable little beast she's she so is cute adorable no no and these these animals are very good right they do good things oh yeah they eat ticks they can't catch rabies right they'll eat snails out of your garden right and and 
Don't hurt them if you see them. They are not giant rats. They are friendly little creatures. They're related to kangaroos. Right. That's right. So what's next for you? More classroom appearances and More parties? More classroom and like appearances. That? We're doing, um, I think I've got so many summer camps this summer and right. birthday parties. And we did a birthday party for a woman who was 90 years old. Oh, my Lord. What'd you bring? Oh, all of the stuff. She was so happy. She was I imagine so happy. she was, right? Maybe she'd never in her 90 years been able to touch some of these animals. She was actually a zookeeper. Oh. Retired. Oh, all right. Well, that's <laughs> even more apropos, right? Yeah, it Good. was really fun. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Bonnie, for bringing Punky Brewster and the rest of the gang. And uh, next time you're in town, you come see us, right? Yeah. Oh, she's put some polish on the table there a little it's bit. It's very nice. Slime is the best polish there is. And as far as you guys go, thank you so much for staying up and watching our program. We know you could have been watching Animals on some other program, but instead you stayed here and watched our show. And for that reason, we love you. Don't forget, we'll be back next Saturday and maybe next Friday. See you then. So, uh, Bonnie, I'm thinking of having a soiree with all my former rock star friends. Do you think we could possibly hire you to bring your menagerie? I think you're going to have enough animals here without any of my creatures. <laughs> <laughs>